the thing about Ruga is there's something for everybody, yeah. especially on this album. You listen to this project and you know that you might like like people. Okay, I'm not going to call out some people, mm -hmm. but you might not be the biggest fan. But there's definitely something or some things for you on this album, and that's what I love the most about the album. The album. Uh, if you've not heard the album yet, yo, uh, you gotta go check it out. You know, and uh, listen to it, digest it, enjoy it, and you'll be sounding like us in you know two seconds. In two seconds, <laughs> we promise you. I mean, I'm so excited about this album because my expectations were so high. Like he has set a standard in my head for himself and I was so glad that he met it. I think he even surpassed it. For real, like, you know, so ah. Ruga is one of those artists that, you know, uh, like you said, the standard that he already set for himself, you know, we're expecting the album to be fire. fire you know, because there, there was that feel of, oh my God, it better be fire. It yeah. has to be fire. You know, he's one of those Especially artists, because the, you know the I mean? last set of singles that he dropped, aside Ashiwaju, yeah. we've not really had like a... Ma Normally, when Ruga drops a single, number one straight, but we've not really had like a major hit from him. Yeah. So there was just this fear like, what's this album going to, going be? to be? And about. then the first song, here is Thor. You just want to come on, right? It, it, Safe it's hands. It's almost like, you know, <laughs> the same way we're excited about this and we had that high expectation, it's the same way, you know, I can't wait to hear Loje, for instance, drop a debut album. The same way that I can't wait to hear Magic, <laughs> uh, for instance, drop yeah, his debut I'm album. Magic's, Magic's debut album is coming soon. Yeah, coming he said it's well, coming, coming very yeah, soon. Yeah, but, you know, oh, man. but I can't wait for Lo J, man. <laughs> I really can't wait. Okay. Earlier, you were talking about the um, it's, it's the fusion. Quite, yeah, it's an interesting fusion. Like, I like the fact that a singer can rap. You know, I like the how he was fast. It's Ruga. He does pace. everything. Uh, I'm not trying to sell that, but I mean, for this song, it was a very nice balance, and it had very interesting bounce. You know, so the progression was very, very on point. It was spot on. It's a song that carries you from the beginning all the way to the end. And you just, you don't want it to stop. So when I feel the song and I don't want it to end, you it, has a, it has a shock value, yeah. replay value. Yeah. I like that, you know, uh, the fact that, you know, you mentioned replay value about, you know, this record. And that's one thing that Ruga has always had uh, with his singles. You listen to them and you want to listen to them over, over. and over again. And, you yeah. know, I said it a while ago. Yes. I, I mentioned this a while ago, guys, and I'm going to say it again, especially okay. with the fact that you also work with other producers on, on this. I think Legendary Bits was on this. Yes. I think it was Legendary that did this one. Yeah. No, it was, no, it was Cook it was Cook Bits that did that all. Did, it right. was I mean, Cook I mean, Bits that did all. Yes, yeah, it's on the album. album. So, you know, the fact that it was able to do that, and still give us a variety of That's different direction. You, you know what I mean? Within the album, it's so beautiful. And then you can hear the refreshing feel. Here's where I'm going to. The refreshing feel of this lead whereby this song don't even sound like the previous leads that we've heard from Ruga Facts. and that's an amazing stuff okay. 100 so if we're judging the new substance standard now for, <laughs> for Nigerian music I mean Ruga seems to be making feel good music and he seems to be good at doing it yeah so judging by what you perceive as you know content what the lyrics should be yeah. you might want to judge him on that but if we're not using any vanity standards, this is actually good songwriting too. You know, even the, ba even the balance really thing actually also, this song, apart from like him doing the, you like know, what, what, what Sarah said. Cliche in a very good way. See, Sarah really said, we heard the bad boy Ruger, but we also heard Essence. On this you song. Know, we heard the deep that you're asking for. Yes. You know, so on this, <laughs> on this record, song, you know we also I mean? heard, I mean, the hook of this song literally is his version of Substance. Yeah. He's basically talking about, oh, mommy, I'm on tall, but these girls, they want to kill me for exactly. my mommy. You know I mean? <laughs> but he's saying it's all about the money. It's about the money, and then you know, with us, I don't hustle, mama. You know, you pray for me, but here I'm at the top of the world, ruining the world right I now. I tell you, know, you. Man, you know, that, that's what he's trying to say. Right there, you and know, I the, the essence of right? elements. So, you know, yeah. his language he uses. Like, I wonder if he studies, you know, or practices, but that's good, man. I mean, we should we could even just read it straight away. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> no, we're not no, do we're that. doing that. Let's go play, you know, our more music. When we come back in a bit, we'll get into, you know, us written it on a scale of one to He's such a complete artist that it's not just the music, the persona. I he like has this star confident. vibe. He's confident about his craft, his looks, his carriage and all of that. Do you know, that, do you know yeah. that there's a person in Uganda, I think, who uh -huh. literally became famous off of play like, acting like Ruga, like mimicking uh, Ruga. The person will go for shows, wear the hair, eye band and uh -huh. act like Ruga. And the person is really big. Yeah, people became, became My very God. popular by trying to sound like, you know, I don't ah. want to call the name Which of the person. Thing? Okay, let's not <laughs> let's not get into trouble. Which one's already song on the scale of one to ten? This takes a nine. Nine over ten. Wow, like that's a nine coming from you. This is my first nine over ten. Yeah. Wow. Only Ruga can do that. No, it's not. It's not a Ruga <laughs> thing. <it's a> song. <laughs> <laughs> Only Ruga can make this song. Oh yeah. Nah, it is a song. It is a song. It has all the elements I'm looking for in a good song. So it's a well, very, very good balance mix and i feel like it deserves a nine okay yeah. right so 
<laughs> Bruh, I think I'm doing 15, man. Let me let me surpass it 15. No, but for already a 10 over 10 song. There's so. there's really nothing you can fault about it. Yeah. There's Lamba, there's vibes, there's message. I and I mean, it's good vibes. No, it's, like, it's Ruga. I agree with you on that one. Uh, I, I don't think I think this is the first time that you and I will read a song and then we'll give it the same number because it's a 10 over 10. 10 over 10. Well Ruga. Uh, you know, and of course, the album as well. Ruga. Big ups to you, man. You know, it's a crazy fire if you ask me, man. You know, if there's anything hotter oh than God. fire, oh I think <laughs> that's what rule the world is. No, you see, it, when I heard the, you know, the album yesterday, finally, you know, I just told myself, I said, Ruger was not joking or playing when he said I came to rule the Of world. course! Ruger makes music like he has a point to prove. Do you get? Like, he is very, very intentional about standing out. So it's seeming like he's always chasing hits with his music, but I'm glad, like, I mean, there's a song like this right now. I, I disagree. That massages that ego that needs to be massaged. So I disagree. I, I don't think he's always, you know, sounding like he's trying to make hits. He just makes hits. He, exactly. <laughs> he just did. Exactly. Well, I get it. I get it. But exactly. He makes hits, but, uh, well, that's, that's why I like his new album. I Through think the world. There's, it's like he's telling a story and putting a narrative one step at a time. You know, this hedonistic vibe to his music, is that all you're about? Yes, it can be something you're about. Like people have debated this whole substance thing. Exactly. Like, like it can be your substance. It's his substance. So, but if that's his vibe and his branding, I mean, it's all right because it's a good song. But, you know, I'm always like looking forward to the deep the deep <laughs> yeah and at the same time song. at the same time he was able to maintain he was able to maintain the bad boys in, yeah, on this song yeah what sarah looks at i feel it's a what do you mean by that <laughs> to sell songs like this like it's an experience it's an experience of the music you seen the visuals this bad boy this you know stage doing rugat things uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. <laughs> oh, rugat things <laughs> doing rugat things but then listening to the entirety of the album, um, it's the nice balance of different flow, a uh, different progression, you know, different feel, different rhythm. I, I was scared for a minute that you know, uh, okay, I was like, hey, God, don't let this album be one way. And I it's didn't get that now. when I listened I to it. I love yeah. This song itself is it has a lot of hip hop elements. Like yeah. you can hear the hi hats. It's yeah. like a drill. Song. Yep. But you're using a dance hall. You're giving Vibe. us a bit of pop in it. Yeah. Like, why? Mm -hmm, it's, it's just trying to show that yeah, I can. Do. It's good. It's good thinking because he was already stereotyping himself. Exactly. But you know. Uh, so I feel like, like people who are stereotyping Ruga are people who don't listen to Ruga's no, projects. Because like, no, if so, you listen so, to Ruga's project, yeah. there are different sides no, to Ruga. It's a project, but singles. A lot of people were saying that you know, so a couple of singles were beginning to sound, sound alike. alike. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's why I said I was but happy when I heard the album. I was like, you know, like, you know what I mean? So like he has been dropping singles for a while. So he's dropping this project now. That's. But we have to Ruga album and EPs. Yeah, like. For a while, I said for a, yeah, while, for a while, like he's just been on singles and now he's dropping something that helps us experience him. Ruga, like, I don't think Ruga has been an album artist for a while. I think people fuck with him because of. You know so? Oh, sorry. <laughs> people like enjoy his music because of. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank, sorry for cussing in there. People enjoy his music because of, you know, the way his songs come at periodic moments right. to like soundtrack, like the, you know, Summer vibe or party vibe for that season here. Yeah, I'm excited. Let, let's take a couple of feedback before Chino so will give us his rating. Uh, it's Covenant from August State. Uh, I will give this song a nine because I love the flow of the song. Girl, make it ten. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Angel from Ipaja says I'll give it an eight point five because I love the fact that he acknowledges mom. Oh, Girl, make it I ten. Like <laughs> uh, this one says good afternoon, guys. This is IJ from Ikeja. I am giving this record now. Wait for it. A twelve out of ten. That's my person. Uh, you guys too good and handsome to have a bad record. Okay. Uh, the handsome part. Handsome part. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing about Ruga. Not just him, okay, his team, team as well. Team, of course, yeah, yes, his you know, team as well. No, but I, I was just talking about, you know, the creation of the music, you know, the way he brought himself, you know, to the album, you know, in particular. But then like, you know, to the entire team, the praise, you know, uh Sean, Sean KK, uh, you know, the rest of the team right there as well. You guys are doing a great job, you know, at Josie Ward right there, man. So and I know, and right. I can't wait to hear what Godzilla sounds like. Yeah. Because you have a, you have hundred percent with Rema, hundred percent Ruga Godzilla. Yeah, you know, better bring that fire. Well, guys, um, I, I feel like that's dinosaur must <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying no. <laughs> I hope they take it off. I, I really hope they take Please that take one it off. off. Let's just hope that you are tested. Exactly. You know, let's just <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you for joining us on the show today, Chin and Soul. It is always a pleasure, you know. I mean, see you guys next week, same time. Yeah, so Do you think there should be a deal loss for Rule the World? Uh, we'll see. We'll time see, yeah. 17 songs or how many songs? 17. That's a lot of them. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. So Deluxe will make it 25 or 23 or what? It could just be like 3 or something. Well, let's see.